Hey, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. The Patriots are trading tight end Ryan Izzo to the Texans for a seventh round pick in 2022. Uh, and this um, is a pretty decent move considering that we cut um, Darren Fells on the roster. And he's probably, uh, this Izzo guy was probably has, um, definitely has some potential than any other seventh round pick we could get around that um, area. So honestly, I like this move from um, Nick Casario. Uh, it kind of really um, reestablishes that Patriots connection that Nick Casario is um, using. Um, he knows all of those guys on the Patriots roster, and so he knows who has that untapped talent um, in Ryan Izzo. And some stats about him. He didn't have the greatest season ever last season. Um, he only played 12 games and had two, uh, 200 yards and 13 receptions. Um, his longest was the 50-yard 50 um, 50 yard catch. But um, apparently, it seems that this guy is more so of a blocking tight end than a pass catching tight end. But we'll still have to see about that. Um, but last year, uh, in 2019, he had a better year. Um, and the passer rating when he was targeted uh, was around, like, um, let me see. It was around, uh, uh, it was around 146.8. And that's with Brady um, throwing to him. And then, but this year, it was only 76.9. And that was with... Cam Newton throwing to him so obviously um he's a guy who kind of depends on who's throwing to him he's not uh but obviously who knows if Deshaun Watts is going to stay here or not but it will be interesting to see um another tight end on the roster kind of compete with guys like Aikens and Farrell Brown on the team so what do you think about this um trade um I absolutely love the trade as you can see the Texans may be turning into the Patriots itself. Who knows? But I think the more important thing here is that Nick Casario knows exactly who Ryan Izzo is. Ryan Izzo was just a little 2018 seventh round draft pick that Nick Casario made and Bill Belichick made, of course. Nick Casario must have liked him enough to give him a second time. But so, first thought when I got him, it seemed like most people knew that he was a blocking tight end. So I pulled up the film. Looks like he's a blocking tight end, but that's perfect for the Texans. Texans are going to be looking to replicate something like the Ravens power run scheme, especially with the addition of Tyrod Taylor. It's going to be a great field Tyrod Taylor or Deshaun Watson. What is going to happen with him? But um, you're going to be able to see Ryan is on the field a lot because we're going to need a blocking alongside Farrell Brown is who I see as our two great block giants at the moment. But Ryan is also flashed some, flashed some potential to run some rounds and catch the ball. But like you said, I think he had a 41 yard catch to try to see Hitchell. And in 2020, he had a 50-yard catch. So he has a little bit of a deep dead ability. But um, I've heard great reviews of him. I think one guy I heard say he had Gronk-like potential. Very physical. He's got great. He'll try to run you over, too. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind this trade, obviously. I mean, it's only like a seventh-round pick. It's not like we're trading like the farm or anything. But yeah, like 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 um, like you said, I think he he will fit great with the scheme and obviously um the whatever um andy bishop is going to do um since he's the tight end coach and the run game coordinator we'll be see how he'll be utilized in that regard and uh any final thoughts before we wrap up the video um yeah just look out for a uh, tight end room filled with um holly wearing jordan aiken sparrow brown and ryan so they're all four going to be on the field probably in different in different capacities you're going to see jordan aiken probably want to gain the ball more running routes, maybe even line up at receiver because we get to find another receiver. Hopefully you will re-sign my guy Will Fuller soon. But uh, we'll see. Ryan is a sort of lot of potential and hopefully he's going to have a great season the Texans in 2021. Yeah, and um, salary-wise, he's only due a $850,000 base salary uh, in 2021 and played um, under 675000 base salary in 2020. So obviously he's very, very cheap and um, and we'll see if, if he plays really good, then he'll be an absolute steal for us. Um, so we'll have to see about that. But that's pretty much it for the video. Let us know your thoughts are on this trade. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Thank you all for watching.